In the valley of the Rio Grande, at the foot of the Jemez Mountains in the present state of New Mexico, lies the Pueblo of San Ildefonso. This is a village of considerable antiquity. For centuries, the cultivated fields around the Pueblo sustained the people. But changing time of the soil, drought and flood, have made severe inroads into their economy. Into this Pueblo, Maria Martinez was born. She is a potter, and from her art has developed the pottery which has brought recognition to her and fame to the Pueblo, and an important contribution to its economy. Many of her Pueblo neighbors have learned the art of Maria. Untouched by fame, unspoiled by success, Maria lives in a modest adobe cottage in the Pueblo. In a tiny workroom within the cottage, she molds the clay with skill and dexterity undiminished by advancing years. Without the aid of the potter's wheel, she fashions her ware as did her ancestors before her in the very dawn of human time. The larger pieces are built up by coiling ropes of clay. The clay which Maria uses is found not far from the Pueblo in which she works, but she does not discuss where she finds it. The clay coils are fashioned with meticulous care. They must be free of air, the right length, the proper shape and density. Each coil must be worked into the pot in such a way that one is indistinguishable from the other, that they blend together to form a single unified shape. A piece of gourd is used to smooth the clay as she continues to mold it into its final form and shape. This is meticulous work. Maria demands that her work be without flaw. The remarkable symmetry achieved without the aid of a wheel is true measure of the control by the potter of the clay.
smaller pieces are molded directly. Ashtrays and small bowls take life from the flashing hands of the potter. When the ware has dried sufficiently, it is painted with a slip of red clay and polished.